In this very highly educational video, I will elucidate you as to why the transmitting volume on your radio or the transmitting volume on the guy's radio that you're trying to listen to can sometimes be so annoyingly low. And even more importantly, I will explain it all to you without boring you to death or begging you to subscribe to my channel like some kind of loser. Now I am fully aware that some people are probably going to leave comments complaining about this video because I have already made videos about this very subject. That subject being the low louds on your radio. That is to say, I think I've made videos about this before. I'm not sure. I don't even really care anymore. And to be clear, it's not that I don't care about what some people have to say or that I don't care about some people's opinions. It's more that I just don't care what some people have to say and I don't care about some people's opinions. A very common problem that I often see, or to be more accurate, a common problem that I often hear while scanning the GMRS radio airwaves is listening to some fresh newcomer to the exciting and dynamic world of GMRS, all excited to be talking on his fancy new radio, only to have his spirit crushed and his dreams crumble before him when everybody keeps telling him that they can't hear what he's saying. And they cannot hear what he is saying because his volume, or what us audio engineering experts call his louds, is too low. In other words, he is suffering from the low louds. His signal is strong, there is no static in his signal, but nobody can hear what he's saying because his voice does not have enough louds. Getting a bigger antenna will not help. Walking outside for a more clear signal will not help. And contrary to what many people continually post in the online forums, tuning his antenna will not do a goddamn thing. All of those things might help for a weak signal, but that is not what we're talking about. Pay attention. My friend, once again, low louds means that your signal is strong, but nobody can hear the words that are coming out your mouth. And this can be caused by one of three things or any combination thereof. Reason number one, you are holding the microphone too far from your noise output hole. When broadcasting on a radio, you must hold your microphone or your radio very close to this, like this, not like this. And pro tip, holding the radio or microphone at a slightly off angle to your noise hole, like this, can help reduce Plosives. Plosives are what us audio engineering experts call those loud P's and T sounds coming out your noise hole. Reason number three that nobody can hear what you're saying, stop whispering, dumbass. You cannot just mumble into your radio like you're trying to explain to your parents why you still haven't found a job or like you're hiding under your covers after bedtime trying to talk with your friend. When broadcasting on your radio, you must put your big girl panties on and speak up like a man. And you must very clearly and very forcefully enunciate every word of which you wish to broadcast, as if someone actually cares about whatever it is you have to say. Reason number C, your radio might be set to narrow band. As all of us radio experts know, GMRS is a full-sized, full-width radio service, meaning that all of the big boys are transmitting on the wide bands on most channels. And if you come along transmitting on the narrow bands, not only is everyone gonna have trouble hearing what you're saying, but they are also going to make fun of you, especially if you are also incorrectly doing numbers A and B that I just previously mentioned only a moment ago. And finally, reason number five, and granted, this is far less likely to be a problem, but it is within the realm of possibilities, and I feel that as a YouTube superstar and radio expert, I would be remiss if I did not mention it. If you are certain that you are doing numbers one through five correctly, then it is possible that you simply have 
a defective radio, or a crappy radio. And there are two ways to deal with just such a situation. A, save up your pennies and buy a real radio. Or number two, start a YouTube channel, become a YouTube superstar in the realm of GMRS radios, and wait for all the manufacturers to send you a bunch of free ones. Now I am sure that I have probably missed something in my extensive list, and there is probably some other never before heard of reason that could theoretically on paper, cause one to have low louds when broadcasting on their radio. So I, being the benevolent YouTube superstar that I am, I will leave it up to the online experts in the comments section to show everyone how smart they think they are by leaving a comment to tell everyone whatever it is I might have missed. <laughs>